الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين استفى أما بعض فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله استفى آدم ونوح وآل إبراهيم وآل عمران على العالمين ذرية بعضها من بعض والله سميع عليم صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا واعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى امين يا رب العالمين As I told you in the second portion of the first part of Surat Al Imran, actually now the address is directed towards the Christians and to tell them what was the real position of Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wasalam. But for that, as is the general practice with the Quran, the discussion is starting from. Hazrat Adam and then Hazrat Nuh and then Hazrat Ibrahim and so on because it was a line of the prophets. Inna Allah astafa Adam wa Nuh wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Imran ala al-alamin. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose Adam and Nuh and the progeny of Ibrahim and the progeny of Imran. On all the nations of the world, progeny of Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq, Yaqub, Alar, the progeny of Ibrahim. Then all the other also, even Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he belongs to the progeny of Ibrahim and all the Hebrew prophets also. But now, especially Ala Imran. Imran was the name of the father of Hazrat Musa and Hazrat Harun alaihi wasallam. And in that very line were the mother of Hazrat Masih alayhi salam, Hazrat Maryam. So now that is given the line of the dynasty. Zurriyatam ba'duha min ba'd. They are the progeny of one another. Imran was in the progeny of Ibrahim. And then Yahya, Isa, they were in the progeny of Imran. So they were progeny of one from other. Wallahu Samiyun Alim and Allah listens to everything and he knows everything. Is Qalat Imran to Imran. Just remember when the wife of Imran said, now who is this Imran? There are two interpretations. One is that the maternal grandfather of Hazrat Imran was also Imran and it is just possible. The names are repeated, you know, in the families. The name of the great grandfather. Now that is the same name of the of some offspring. So it goes on. So one opinion is that it is the name of the maternal grandfather of Hazrat Maryam Salamun Aleha, and the other is that the, the same name Imran has been used. That a woman of the family of Imran said to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, both are possible. اس قالت امرات و امران رب انی نظر تو لکا معافی بطنی محررن فتقبل منی she was pregnant and she prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh my lord I vow to thee whatever is in my womb and I dedicate him to your service absolving him of all the other responsibilities محررن absolving him of all the other responsibilities he will be devoted fully full time whole time to the service of your temple. 
ان نکانت فتقبل منی سو پلیز ایکسپٹ ہم فرام می ان نکانت ان نکانت سمیول علیم ڈیفینیٹلی یو آر دی اونلی ون ہو لسنس ٹو ایوری تھنگ اینڈ ہو نوز ایوری تھنگ کارت رب انی مزاحت ہا انسا شی سیڈ او لارڈ آئی ہیو ڈلیورڈ اے ڈاکٹر واللہ عالم بما وضعت There was not, no need of telling, her telling to Allah what he has delivered. Allah very well knew what he had delivered. Allah knew what was in her womb already. Wallahu a'lamu mima wadaat. Allah very well knew whom he had delivered. Walaysa zakar o kalunsa. And the male is not like female. Wa inni sammai tuha mariyama. And now this is again the saying of Hazrat A, the mother of Hazrat A, Maryam. Inni sammai tuha mariyama. I have given her the name of Mary or Maryam. Vainni oizu haapeka. And I give her to your refuge, in your protection. Vazurriyataha. Not only him, not only her, but I to her progeny also. To your refuge, min ash-shaitan ar-rajeem, from the shaitan which is accursed and which is outcast. Fataqabbalaha rabbuha bi qabulin hasanin. So Allah accepted her with the best of acceptance. وَأَمْبَتَهَا نَبَاتًا حَسَنًا And made her grow in a very beautiful way. وَكَفَّلَهَا زَكَرِيَّا And gave her to the protection of Zakariyah alayhi salatu wasalam. And Zakariyah was the maternal uncle of Hazrat Masih alayhi salam. The brother-in-law, we should say, of the mother of Hazrat Maryam. Both were sisters, mother of Yahya, that is wife of Zakariya, and mother of Isa, that is Mari, uh, mother of Maryam, they were sisters. وَكَفَّلَهَا زَكَرِيَا كُلَّمَا دَخَلَ عَلَيْهَا زَكَرِيَا الْمِحْرَابِ Whenever Zakariya used to enter on the sanctuary where Maryam was living and staying, وَنَذَا عِنْدَهَا رِسْقَى He found their provision. قَالَ يَا مَرْيَمُ أَنَّا لَكِ هَذَا He used to ask her a question. Where from are these things coming to you? Now about this provision, this car, there are two views. One is that articles of eating, fruits, etc., etc. Although that was not the season. Unseasonal fruit was found and seen with Maryam, alayhi salatu wassalam. So he was astonished. Where from are these things coming to you, O Mary? And the other opinion is that the wisdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given Hazrat Maryam, he was astonished at the wisdom, and he used to ask him, where from have you learned these things? Both these meanings are possible. Qalat wa bin indillah. She used to answer, all these things are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He sends me these fruit, or he has given me this knowledge. This is applicable, answer is applicable to those, both the interpretations. In the Allah yarzuqu man yashaw bi ghayri hisab, verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the providence, will provide, can provide whose whomsoever he likes without any account, without any mayor, out of mayor. Hunanika da'a zakariya rabbah. At that very moment, we should translate it there and then. Hunanika, there and then. Zakariya also prayed to his Lord. Qala rabbi habli bil ladun ka zurriyatan tayyibah. When he saw Hazrat Maryam Salamun Alaiha, such a gentle and such, you know, a, a good a young girl, he had in his mind the desire, in his heart, a desire arose naturally. May Allah give me a son like this, this girl. Qala Rabbi Habli Milladun Kazan Nuriyatan Tayyibah. Oh Allah, grant me from your own presence. Why this Milladun Ka? Because he was very old. And his wife had been barren all the life. They had no issue up till now. And he was very old. So under the normal physical laws, he couldn't accept it. He couldn't expect that there can be some son Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give him. It is in his power, but not according to the general physical law, law of the universe. Milla dunka, from your presence. Rabbi habli milla dunka zurriyatan tayyibah. Inna ka samiru dua. There is no doubt that you listen to all the prayers. فَنَادَتُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ 
سو دی اینجلس کالڈ ہم وہ ہوا قائم یوسلی فل محراب اینڈ ہی واز آلسو اسٹینڈنگ اینڈ پرینگ ٹو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از ہنس ان ہز سینچوری وٹ وٹ ڈی دی اینجلس سے ان اللہ ان اللہ یو بشر کا بے یا اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز سینٹ فار یو دی گلیڈ ٹائڈنگز گلیڈ نیوز اباؤٹ یا جان جان دی بیپٹسٹ مصدقم بے کلمت من اللہ ہی ول کنفرم اسپیشل کلمہ فرام اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی بکاز قرآن سیز دیٹ حضرت مسیح علیہ السلام واز کلمت اللہ کلمت من ہو سو ہی ول کنفرم اینڈ اٹیسٹ ویٹ مصدقم بے کلمت من من اللہ و سیدن و حسوراً ہی ول بی اے لیڈر و حسوراً اینڈ اے ویری چیسٹ پرسن و نبی من الصالحین اینڈ ہی ول بی اے پروفٹ فرام امنگ دی رائٹ ایس so you are given the glad tidings of such a great son qala rabbi anna yakunu li ghulam now hazrat zakariya alayhi salatu wassalam now he says to allah subhanahu wa taala oh my lord how can i get a son wa qad balaghani al kibar although i have reached very old age old age has overtaken me wa mraati aatirun and my wife has been barren قال كذلك الله يفعل ما يشاء الله سيد الله ريبلايت ان ذس فيري واي ات ويل هابن ديسبايت اول ذيس ثينجز ات ويل هابن بيكوز الله سبحانه وتعالى كان دو وات ايفر هي لايكس قال رب اجعل لي ايه ذن هي بريد او لورد جيف مي سم ساين ابوينت فور مي سم ساين قال ايتك الله تكلم الناس ثلاثه الا ايام الا رمضا The reply was, you will not, the, the sign for you is that you will not be able to talk to the people, to, the, to speak to the people for three days except with signals and gestures. His, you know, speaking was withheld by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it was a sign that all these news are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ كَسِيرًا And keep remembering Allah. وسبرم یا مریم اکنوتی لے رب کا لے رب کے او مریم بی اوبیڈین ٹو یور لارڈ بس جو دی اینڈ پروسٹیٹ بفور ہم ورکائی اینڈ بو بفور ہم مار راکین وتھ دوز ہو آر گوئنگ وتھ گوئنگ بفور ہم ذالک من انباء الغیب نوحیہ الیک دیز آر دی نیوز فرام دی ان سین دیٹ وی آر ریویلنگ ٹو یو او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و ما کنت لدیہم از یلقون اقلانہ You were not present with them when they were casting their pens, casting their lots with their pens to decide, Ayyuhum yakfalu Maryam, who will be the, take the charge of Maryam? All the people you know, all the servants of the temple of Solomon, they wanted to have Mary in their custody. Now to choose, Maryam will remain with whom? They were casting their ballot with their pens to decide. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it that the decision was for Hazrat Zakriya alayhi salatu wa salam as has been mentioned already. وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ O Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم You were not with them when they were casting their ballots with their pens. وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ is يَخْتَ سِمُونَ And you were not with them when they were fighting and quarreling with each other or arguing with each other and competing and disputing with each other who will keep Mary, who will keep Maryam in his custody. اس قالت الملائکہ and now remember the time recall the time when the angel said یا مریم و ان اللہ یبشرکو بے کلمت امن او مریم ویریلی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی gives you the good tidings and the good news of a word from him حضرت مسیح علیہ السلام a word from اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اسمہ المسیح عیسی بن مریم his name will be المسیح Isa ibn Maryam, son of Maryam. Vajihan fi dunya wa l'akhira. Illustrious and honorable in this world also and in the hereafter. 
وَمِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ And he will be from among the nearest of him who will be nearest to God subhanahu wa ta'ala Hazrat Masih alayhi salam will be one of them مِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ وَيُكَلَّمُ النَّاسُ فِي الْمَحْدِ And he will speak to the people while in cradle وَكَحْلَ And also when he will be of mature age this is very important this kahlan word because as the history goes Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam was raised to heaven according to our beliefs and was crucified according to the Christian belief when he was only 33 years and this word is not applicable to a person of a 33 years only Quran has used this special word kahlan this kahul is definitely after 40 years so Hazrat Masih alayhi salam will have an age where he will be this word applicable, will be applicable to him in Kahnan and that will be after his second descent when he comes again. Second coming of Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam. This is a common creed and belief between us and the Christians. Second coming of Jesus. But the difference is that they believe that Jesus was crucified. Then he was resurrected and then he was raised to the heaven. And what we believe is that he was not at all crucified. He was raised alive to the heaven and then both agree that he will come again. So this is a common point and we must remember it here and we should repeat it here in this society where you are living. That these points are common and the only difference is we believe that he was a prophet of Allah. They believe that he was a part of deity. There is the, that's the difference. But you know as regards the person of Jesus wasalam, that he was born without a father. This is common between us and Christians. Virgin Mary. She, she gave birth to Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. Then he was raised to the heaven. That was also that is common between us and the Christians. The difference is only that they think that he was crucified, then resurrected and then raised. We say not at all. He was not at all crucified. The matter was become you know, doubtful for them. Was made doubtful by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then again we agree that he will return and he will come again. So these are the points which are common between Muslims and Christians. So word kahla is here very important. Although we can see that there was no need of using this word. Everybody when he is mature of age, he speaks. Why was it mentioned? Actually, if speaking in the cradle was something you know, very extraordinary. So it was mentioned. If it is very uh, natural that it should have, should have been mentioned. But why kahla? There was no need of saying it. The only need is that we must know that he is to come again. Because among the Muslims, so-called Muslims also, there are some people who don't give due importance to the ahadith. They have doubts about these things, which I am telling you. He will be from among the righteous people. The same answer, the same thing that Hazrat Zakriya had said, Anna yakunuli gulam. How can there be a son for me when I have been overtaken by old age and my wife has been barren all the, all the life? The same type of astonishment. Hazrat Maryam said, No man has even touched me, ever touched me. How can I give birth to a son? The same answer was given. It will happen like this. Allah Allah create whatever He likes and however He likes, in whichever way He likes. His condition is that when He has decided and decreed something, He only says be and it becomes. Again, the same, you know, glad tidings is coming from the, it is continuing from the angels. Allah will teach him the book as well as the wisdom. But Torah and the Torah and the Injil. And he will be a messenger towards the children of Israel. Now mark the difference here. About John the Baptist, the final, the, the final verdict was Nabiyam mina Salihin. He will be a Nabi, he will be a prophet from among the righteous. About Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam, the wordings are Rasulan ila Bani Israel. He will be a messenger to Bani Israel. And there's a difference between prophets and messengers. All the messengers are prophets, but all the prophets are not messengers. Messengers cannot be killed. Prophets have been killed. 
حضرت یاہیا واز اے پروفٹ ناٹ میسنجر ہی 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 واز کلڈ اینڈ برڈرڈ حضرت زکریہ واز اے پروفٹ اینڈ ناٹ ناٹ میسنجر ہی واز کلڈ اینڈ برڈرڈ حضرت مسیح علیہ الصلاۃ والسلام ہی واز اے میسنجر ہی واز اے رسول ہی کڈ نیور بی کلڈ کٹم اللہ الاغل بند انا و رسولی اللہ ہیز ڈیسائیڈڈ اٹ ڈیکریڈ اٹ دیٹ آئی مائی سیلف اینڈ مائی میسنجر ول ٹرائم فائنلی دے ول بی سیوڈ اینڈ دے ول بی سپریم دے کین نوٹ بی کلڈ دے کین نوٹ بی ڈیفیٹڈ Now what the what what Hazrat Masih said to his people now it is coming Anni qad jaitukum bi ayatin mir rabbikum I have come to you with a sign from your lord What are these those signs Anni akhluqu lakum min at-tin kahayat at-tayr I make from the clay something some shape of a bird fa anfuqu fihi then breathe into it فَيَكُونُ طَيْرًا بِعِذْنِ اللَّهِ And it becomes a bird, a flying bird, with the permission, with the grant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأُبْرِئُ الْأَكْمَهَ وَالْأَبْرَسَ And I cure the born blind and the lepers. بِعِذْنِ وَأُحِيِّ الْمَوْتَ And I can revive, I can bring to life the dead. بِعِذْنِ اللَّهِ By the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا تَعْقُلُونَ وَمَا تَدَّخِرُونَ فِي بُيُوتِكُمْ And I can tell you what you have eaten, what you have taken today, and what you have stored in your houses. فِي بُيُوتِكُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ عَلَىٰ آيَةٍ And in this there is sign. And that is the sign that I have been appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All these miracles I am showing to you so that it must be clear to you that I am the messenger of Allah towards you. إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ if you are from among the believers wa musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya min at-torah the speech of hazrat masih is continuing and i am confirming what is present before me min at-torah wa li uhilla lakum ba'd alladhi hurrima alaykum and i have been sent to declare something which had been forbidden for you to be lawful wa jaitukum bi ayatin min rabbikum and i have come with all these signs from your lord فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَاتِعُونَ So you should have fear of Allah. You should have regard of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you should obey me. Because the, the messengers are to be obeyed anyhow. As we, as we discussed in the last session. اِطَاعَةَ Obedience to the messenger of, of Allah. That is essential for every Muslim. إِنَّ اللَّهَ رَبِّي وَرَبُّكُمْ فَعْبُدُوهُ And the final question. wordings of Jesus alayhi salatu wassalam the final article of his da'wah inna allaha rabbi wa rabbukum Allah is my lord as well as your lord fa'budu so you should be you should serve him you should worship him you should obey him you should adore him you should love him you know this word ibadah it cannot be translated again by any one single word of English language to worship to obey to adore to love if you join all these four words then the concept and connotation of ibadah can be conveyed otherwise not hadha siratul mustaqim this is the straight path this is the right way falamma ahsa isa minhum al kufr when isa alayhi salatu wassalam perceived from them the disbelief that they are going to reject me they are going to oppose me they are going to show enmity towards me قَالَ مَنْ أَنْسَارِي إِلَى اللَّهِ There's going to be a conflict. So I should have some supporters. I should have some helpers. So he called to the people, قَالَ مَنْ أَنْسَارِي إِلَى اللَّهِ Who is my helper in the way of Allah? قَالَ الْحَوَارِيُّونَ The Havariyeen, his, his companions. He replied, نَحْنُ أَنْسَارُ اللَّهِ We are the helpers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ We believe in him. وَشْحَدْ بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ So you also be a witness that we surrender ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are from among the Muslims. We are from among the believers. You also testify and we are here. We will be helping you in the way of Allah. رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا This is again the saying of the same Havari Yun companions. رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا بِمَا أَنزَلْتَ O our Lord, we believe in whatever you have sent down. The Injil that was sent down on Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. وَتَبَعْنَا الرَّسُولِ And we are following, we are doing ittiba. Now again the word is ittiba here. 
First it was it ah, and now it teva. What the man of Rasul? We are following your messenger. Faktumna ma shaydin. You also write us our names among those who are witnesses to you. Now from this very you know point witnesses, you have the sect of the Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses. Actually, because you know the source, the is the same, the terminology is the same. Jehovah's Witnesses. Actually, this ummah has been created to be witnesses unto the whole of mankind. Kadale ka jalna ko ummatam vasatal le takulu shohada alandas wa yakulu rasul wa alaykum shahida. Every messenger of Allah was a witness to his nation, to his people, from Allah subhanahu wa taala. And this ummah has been created to be witnesses of Allah subhanahu wa taala unto the whole of mankind and over the whole of mankind. So they said, write our names among the witnesses. فَكْتُبْنَا مَا شَاهِدِينَ وَبَكَرُوا وَبَكَرَ اللَّهِ And they plotted against him. The Jews, their rabbis, who were much offended by Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam, they felt threatened. Their position was in jeopardy. So they had to oppose. وَبَكَرُوا And now they started planning and conspiring against Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. وَبَكَرُوا وَبَكَرَ اللَّهِ And Allah also planned. وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ And he is definitely, Allah is definitely the best of the planners. إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ And recall the time when Allah said to Jesus عليه الصلاة والسلام يَا عِسَى O عِسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ I am now going to recall you. I am now, now going to take you back. وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّ And I will lift you. And this was lift, lifting was bodily lifting. It was not, you know, only spiritual lifting. The whole, tawaffi, the word, you know, tawaffi, it means taking something, taking something in possession. And this has been used in three senses in the Quran. Allahu yatawaffal anfusahina mautiha wallati lantamut fi manamiha. When we sleep, our consciousness is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is also tawaffi. When we die, our nafs is taken, our life is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we sleep, only consciousness is taken. Body is with there, present here, and the life is also there in the body. Only consciousness is taken, and this is tawaffi. And when someone of us dies, his, his life is also taken, along with the consciousness. This is also tawaffi. And Hazrat Isa was taken, Allah took the position of Isa, his consciousness, plus his life, plus his body. And that was the complete tawaffi. Inni mutawaffika. This word is applicable in its total sense on Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wasalam only. Otherwise, when we die, this word is partially applicable because the body remains here. It goes to the dust. Only the life and the consciousness is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you know, when Jesus was taken, he was taken whole. The body as well as the life as well as the consciousness. Is Allah, Ya Isa, inni mutawaffika wa rafiuka ilayya, and lifting you up towards me. Wa mutahhiruka min al-lazina kafaru, and I will purify you against those who have disbelieved you, who have leveled charges against you, I will absolve you of all the charges. Wa jailul lazina tabaruka fawqal lazina kafaru, and I will make those who follow you over those who have denied you. And that is the thing we find throughout the history. Christians have been above the Jews all the time. And now, in our time also, all the Jews, you know, they have a state of their own. And they are, so to say, now very respected. They hold very respectable position. But this is also due to the protection of the Christians. That's under the protection and guardianship of the Christians. That they have all these facilities and all these positions. Otherwise, they themselves have nothing. And the Christians are above them. وَجَعِلُ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ And this will happen till the day of judgment. سُمَّ إِلَيَّ مَرْجِعُكُمْ Then all of you will have to return to, uh, to me. فَأَحْكُمَ وَيَنَكُمْ فِي مَا كُنْتُ فِيَ تَخْتَلِفُونَ And then I will judge between you about those things in, about which you had been differing. فَأَمَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا What will be the judgment? فَأَمَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا As for those who had made kufr, committed kufr, who had denied the ayat of Allah, فَأَرَضْزَبُهُمْ عَزَابًا شَدِيدًا I will put, to the most, to put them to the most severe punishment. 
فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ in this world also and in the hereafter also وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ نَاصِرِينَ and they will have no helpers nobody will be able to save them on the contrary وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا those who have come to believe وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ and they have done good deeds فَيُوَفِّيهِمْ أُجُورَهُمْ so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them their, their reward in full وَاللَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الظَّالِمِينَ Allah does not like the evil doers. ذَلِكَ نَتْلُوهُ عَلَيْكَ مِنَ الْآيَاتِ وَذِكِ الْحَكِيمِ This is what we are reciting to you, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, from the signs of Allah and from the admonition that, is, that has wisdom. الذِكِ الْحَكِيمِ Wise admonition. In the Masala Isa, now this is the point about which all this argument has been, you know, built up because before that deportation of the Christians, Christian rep Christian, you know, ulama, the knowledgeable persons. Now this is the final verdict. In the Masala Isa in the Lahika Masale Adam. If you think that because Jesus was born without any man father, therefore the father was God. That's the only argument that you can say. Because he was born without father without any human father. So definitely that place has been filled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. So he is the son of God. What will you say about Adam? He was created without father, without mother. He was created out of clay. So this is the final argument. Inna masala Isa in the lahika masala Adam. The likeliness of Jesus with Allah is, is, is to the Likeness of Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. Khalaqahu min turabin. He created him out of clay. Summa qala lahu kun fayakun. And then he said to him, be. And he became. And he became. So it is the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the authority of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can do anything. He is badiyu samawati wa lard. He created all these heavens and earth without anything. So he can create whomsoever he likes without anything. He created Hazrat Masih alayhi salam without father. It doesn't mean that he is son of God. He is, he is son of Mary. That is why throughout Quran we find Isa ibn Maryam. He is son of Mary. He has a mother. Al-Haqqu bin Rabbik. And this is the truth from your Lord. Fala takum min al -muntareen. So you should not become from, you should not be from the, from those who have doubts. Doubters. فَمَنْ حَاجَّكَ فِيهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَكَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ And now, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, whosoever argues, argues with you about Jesus, after this knowledge, real knowledge that has come to you, فَقُلْ Then say to them, تَعَالَوْ نَدْعُوا أَبْنَعَنَا This is called مُبَاهَلَ Final thing, when you have argued, between two persons have argued between themselves, and still you know this, the matter is not settled. Now this is the final thing that we find in the Quran. Mubahla. Well, come here. Ta'alo nado abna na abna akum. We call our sons, you call our sons, your sons. Wa nisa na wa nisa akum. We call and bring forth our women, and you call and bring forth your women. Wa anfusana wa anfusakum. We come ourselves, and you also come yourselves. Summa nabtahil. Then we shall pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We shall pray most humbly, most sincerely. And then we shall invoke his curse, curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over, over that party who is lying, who is telling a lie. Invoking the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, whosoever from amongst us is a liar, is telling a lie, let your curse be, befall on him. This is called mubahla. This joint prayer, together they gathered, that was the challenge that Muhammad Sallallahu gave. But those people, you know, those religious leaders of the Christians of Najran, they, not, they didn't accept the challenge. The evening before, this ayat was revealed, and the next morning they left, without further talking to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They left Medina for their city of Najran. Neither they accepted Islam, nor they continued their argument with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That was the final point. 
الحق من رب کا فلا تک من المم ترین فمن حاج جا کا فی ہے من باغ ما جا کا من العلم ناؤ دس ریئل نالج ہیز کم ٹو یو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ناؤ اف سم بڈی از اسٹل آر گوئنگ ہی ڈزن وانٹ ٹو ایکسپٹ اٹ ناؤ دی اونلی تھنگ اونلی وے دیٹ ریمینس از ٹو ڈسائڈ دی میٹر دیٹ یو ڈو مباہلا یو چیلنج دیم قل تعالوا ندعو ابناءنا وابناءكم کم آن یو کال یور سنس برنگ فورتھ دیم وی کال اور سنس اینڈ وی بی وی کم ٹوگیدر then you also bring your women and we also bring our women and you come yourself and we come ourselves and then we shall jointly pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala most humbly most sincerely from the depths of our hearts that oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whosoever from amongst us is wrong and whosoever is telling a lie that you let your curse fall on him in hadha lahu al qasas al haq definitely this is the correct narration This is the true account of whatever has happened. وَمَا مِنْ إِلَٰهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ There is no God except Allah. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَهُ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ And definitely and surely Allah is the only one who has all authority and who has the total wisdom. فَإِنْ تَوَلَّهُ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ مِنْ مُفْسِدِينَ And if they turn away, if they turn away, turn their backs, they go away, then allah subhanahu wa taala is very well aware of these mischief mongers he knows them so he will he will punish them when the time comes qul ya ahl al kitab ta'alu ila kalimatin sawa'in bainana wa baidakum here at the ayah number 63 the second portion of this first part first half of surah al imran comes to an end now the four sections till the 10th section Now there is a general dawah, general call to to Bani Israel and Christians, but now actually the term is common. In Surah Al-Baqarah we found Ya Bani Israel. Here in these thirty-one ayat it was for the Nasara, totally exclusive for the Christians, because their belief about Hazrat Jesus Alayhi Salatu Wassalam that has been rectified. But now you will find Ahlul Kitab, and Ahlul Kitab will include both the groups. So there is discussion, there is argument. there is blaming also there is calling also inviting them to 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 accept islam and also criticizing them on their wrong ideas wrong beliefs for four continuous and then just as we found in the third part of the first half of surah al baqarah mention of hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam and then you know mention of kaaba kaabatullah all these things will also be repeated here because these two surahs are very similar to, to each other as i told you they go to make one pair now the call is here qul o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam say to them ta'alu ila kalimatin sawai bainana wa bainakum come to one word one kalima one basic principle which is common between us between you and between us Allah na abuda illa Allah. That we shouldn't worship anybody, anything except Allah. Wala nushre ka bhi shayyan. And we shouldn't associate with Him anything, anyone. We shouldn't associate with Him any partner, any equal. Wala yatta khida baaduna baadun arbaab min dun Allah. And we should not take one another from among us. as lords along with the along with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what does it mean wala nattakhidha ba'dhum ba'dhan arbab min dunillah how do people become arbab min dunillah that was a question that was posed before hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by ali ibn hatim hatim you know this famous person the generous person hatim with, with sakhawa generosity that's proverbial his son ali he was a christian and then when he embraced islam he asked a question to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how come quran says that we have, have have made men as lords along with allah subhanahu wa taala we have never made our ahbar and rohban as lords we never worship them the prophet jab replied please remember is it not correct that whatever they declare haram you accept haram whatever they declare permissible you accept it to be permissible they said it so because you know in christianity modern christianity the law of moses was abrogated by paul saint paul the law was abrogated so this is a religion without law no pope has the authority to declare everything just just as among the ismailites ismaili you know people 
who call themselves Muslims, their imam is imam masoom, infallible imam. He can declare anything to be permissible or to be haram. He has the authority to declare anything to be permissible or haram. So that is the case with the Christians. And this is the authority of Allah only. To declare anything to be halal or declare anything to be haram. This is exclusive right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you accept this right for anybody else, he has become a lord along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has become a god along with God. So this is actually here. We shouldn't hold from among, oh, among sons. One another as lords beside the Lord, real Lord, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Find Tawalla. Now, if they turn away, if they don't respond positively to your call, Fakul Shadu Bianna Muslimun, then you should say, O oh Muslims, be witness, we are Muslims. Whether you accept Islam or not, but listen, we are Muslims. Ya Al Kitab Lima to Haju Rafi Ibrahim. O oh, people of the book, now you'll find the word Ahl al-Kitab. It includes both Jews and Christians. Ya Ahl al-Kitab, lima tuhajjuna fa Ibrahim. O oh, people of the book, why are you arguing about Ibrahim? Wa ma unzilati tawratu wal injilu illa min ba'dihi. Although you also accept that Torah was sent down after Ibrahim. Injil was sent down after Ibrahim. Ibrahim was a prior personality. So he couldn't be a Jew. He couldn't be a Christian. So there can be no argument about Ibrahim. Do you have no understanding? Do you have no intellect? You have been arguing up till now about something about which you had some knowledge. Why are you arguing now about a thing about which you have no knowledge at all? Allah knows and you don't know. Ma kana Ibrahim wa Yahudiya wala Nasraniya. Ibrahim was not at all either a Jew or a Christian. Walakin kana Hanifam Muslima. He was the Muslim. He had submitted to Allah and he was Hanif. That is who turned away from all falsehood. He was not tolerating any falsehood, anything which is false. Hanifam Muslima, and he was pure Muslim. He submitted to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wama kana minal mushrikeen. And he was not from among those who associate anyone or anything with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the awl al Nasib Ibrahim al Nazi Tamawa wahad al Nabi wal Nazina Abu Allah wali al Mumineen. Surely the people who are closest to Ibrahim are those who are following him, not who take his name only. In the Nasi of Ibrahim, Allah Tabaruhu. The people closest to Ibrahim are definitely those, naturally those, who had followed him. And that is this Rasul, this Nabi, Yani Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the follower of Ibrahim. Amalu, and who have come to believe in him, in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wallahu waliyyul mu'mineen. And Allah is the protector and the helper of these mu'mineen, these believers. A group from among the Ahl, Ahl Kitab, a group from among the people of the book, they are bent upon taking you astray. They want to take you back from Islam, taking you away from Islam. But they will not be able to misguide anybody except their own selves. Wama yashurun, but they don't have the understanding, they don't have the perception. Ya halal kitab, lima takfuruna bi ayatil. Allah see the appeal, the style of appeal, appealing to any good sense in them. Ya halal kitab, lima takfuruna bi ayatil. I want to tashadun. O people of the book, why are you belying? Why are you denying the ayat of Allah? Want to tashadun, and you are yourself in your hearts. You are a witness to it that this is correct. From your heart, you have recognized the Quran and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Even bantu tashhadun, you are yourself testifying. Your hearts are testifying to the truth of Quran, and even then you are belying it, you are denying it. Ya al kitab lima takfurun bi ayatillahi bantu tashhadun. Ya al kitab lima talbisun al haqq bil baatil. 
the same verse which appeared in the fifth section of Surah Al-Baqarah. وَلَا تَلْبِسُ الْحَقَّ بِالْبَاطِلِ وَتَكْتُمُ الْحَقَّ وَانْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ لِمَا تَلْبِسُ الْحَقَّ بِالْبَاطِلِ O people of the book, why are you covering the truth with falsehood? وَتَكْتُمُ الْحَقَّ And you are concealing and hiding the truth. وَانْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ And you are doing it knowingly. You know that you are doing something wrong. You know that this is haq. And what you are trying and to cover you know with that is batil. But you are doing it. وَقَالَ تَعْفَتُ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ And so conspired a group of the people of the book. A few Jews you know in Medina they, con- they made a conspiracy. Because they saw that the Muslims you know they are so strict and they are so steadfast in their religion that whosoever embraces Islam Whatever might happen to him, he never goes back. He is ready to lay down his life. He is ready to sacrifice every all his belongings. He never goes back from Islam. So to break, you know, this the the moral courage that had the support that the Muslims were getting from this fact, they made a conspiracy. What was the conspiracy? Declare in the morning to be Muslims. You one day remain a Muslim. In the evening, you declare kufr and you go back to your your um, former religion, so that this sark, you know, this goodwill of Islam, this goodwill of iman that can be broken. People will think some of the, some of the people will be forced to think what happened. These were very gentle people. They came, they accepted Islam. They appeared to be very sincere. They remained with the Prophet all the day. There must be something wrong. They must have seen something, but due to which they have gone back. So this can bring about the raise doubts among the minds of weak Muslims. Or there were Muslims of all grades. There are Muslims who are very strong in their faith, and there were Muslims also who had just recently converted to Islam. So they could bring, you know, doubts. They could produce doubts in the minds of such weak Muslims. So that was the conspiracy. Now read the ayah. وَدَّتْ وَقَالَتْ طَائِفَةٌ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ And so said a group of the people from the book, people of the book, آمَنُوا بِالَّذِي أُنزِلَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَجْهَ النَّهَارِ You declare to be mu'min about those things, about that which has been sent down to these believers. You declare that we believe in Quran, that this is the word of Allah. آمَنُوا بِالَّذِي أُنزِلَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Whatsoever has been sent on these believers, you also declare that you believe in it. Wajhan Nahar, at the break of the day. Wakfuru Akhirahu, and in the evening, you deny it. You return to your own religions, your formal religion. La'allahum yarji'oon. So in this way we can hope that some of them also will, will come back, will come out, and doubts will appear in their minds. وَلَا تُؤْمِنُوا إِلَّا لِمَنْ قَبِعَ دِينَكُمْ But never believe except on that person who follows your deen. This will be only to show off. This will only be a drama. You are not going to believe. وَلَا تُؤْمِنُوا إِلَّا لِمَنْ قَبِعَ دِينَكُمْ Except that person who follows your deen. إِنَّ الْهُدَى هُدَى اللَّهِ Now this is a comment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the guidance is the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An yuta ahadun misla ma uti tum O yuhad yukum behi in the rabbikum Lest someone else may be granted the like of what they, you have been granted, granted to you. Or they would prevail over you in the argument before your Lord. Don't tell them what what signs of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu are there in, in Torah so that they cannot argue with you on the day of judgment before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to follow your own deen, but you know to bring and produce doubts in the minds of some Muslims, we shall declare to be Muslims for some time, temporarily. قُلْ إِنَّ الْفَضْلَ بِيَدِ اللَّهِ يُؤْتِيهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعُ الْعَلِيمِ Tell them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that all bounty is in the hands of Allah. He gives it, he grants it to whomsoever he likes. وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعُ الْعَلِيمِ And Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. يَخْتَصُّ بِرَحْمَتِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ He singles out for his mercy, whomsoever he likes. وَاللَّهُ ذُلْفَضْلِ الْعَظِيمِ And Allah has great bounty. 
And among these people of the book, there are some, there is, there are some, whom if you give in, in whose custody, if you give a lot of wealth, tintarin, they will return it to you. You are the he like. And there is among them, if you trust him with only one dinar, la you are the he like. He will not return it to you, illa ma dum ta'ala except if you keep standing over his head. You can only extract back your, your one dinar from him with force. Otherwise, he is not going to return it to you. Now, this is, you know, very important. That Quran wants and is doing justice to them also. All of them were not so bad. Individually, some people were present. In the Jews, although they were, this percentage was very low, but in the Christians it was quite high at the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There were people of knowledge, who were knowledgeable and who were practicing their deen. You know the Buhaira Rahim, he recognized Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his childhood. Then you know a Christian, a knowledgeable person, he guided Hazrat Salman a Farsi radhi Allah ta'ala. And under his guidance, Hazrat Salman came to the Arabian Peninsula and he could join the party of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he became the companion of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the same way, you know, that the ruler of uh, the Alexandria, he sent to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam presents. Hercul, Heraclius, he also had recognized Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So people among Christians, you know, there were people who were very much knowledgeable and they were, you know, having good characters. But among the Jews even, there were certain people. After all, Abdullah ibn Salam, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he was a very big alim among the Jews. He was a rabbi and he accepted Islam, embraced Islam. And he was a very true and sincere sahabi of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Quran acknowledges whatever good was there in them. Min whom there are among them persons who are so honest that if you entrust a treasure, a very big amount of gold in their custody, they will prove to be ameen, they will be trustworthy, they will return it to you. But among them there are, there are people whom at, if you entrust even one dinar, you will not be able to get it back except by force. Illa ma dum ta'ala If you keep standing over his head, then you, you may get your dinar wapas. Otherwise, you know, there's no possibility of your dinar getting back. So this is the condition in which the, this nation was at that time. Why have they degraded to such low level morally? What is the reason? This is the dogma. And this has been given in detail in a picture, in a, in a, in a documentary that was prepared here. Regarding the teachings of Talmud, you might have seen it. And now the, the person who prepared that documentary, I think he has been killed. He, the other is Rahim. So Talmud actually, they don't act on Torah basically. Their, their legal code is Talmud. Their practices are basically, they are derived from Talmud. That is their book of action. Torah, you know, it is a book of history. Mostly it is a book of history. The, the, the real Sharia of Yahud, the real commandments, the real laws and regulations, details, they are in the Talmud. And in Talmud it is clearly written that at about Gentiles and Goems, you are free to do whatever you like. You cheat them, you deceive them, you rob them, you kill them, you can do whatever you like to do. And there will be no question from you on the day of judgment. You will not be accountable. You will not be questionable on account of doing any injustice, doing any dishonesty with any non-Jew. The non-Jew whom they call the Gentiles. They are the Gentiles, they are the, the Goems, they are like animals. They are only in human form. They are really, they are animals. Quran also testifies to this creed of theirs. This is because they have concocted a belief that we have, we are not to be blamed for anything about these Ummiyin. Or who are Ummiyin? Who have no book? The non-Jews. They were without law. They were the Ummiyin of Arab. And now they say, this word is used 
by the by the Jews for every human being who is not Jew, who is not a Jew. We can do anything with them, with them that they like. وَيَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ And they are assigning lie to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a big lie. Ascribe a false and forged thing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And they are doing it, doing it. بَلَا مَنْ أَوْفَى بِعَحْدِهِ وَاتَّقَى Why not? Whosoever fulfills his covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The covenant that we made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before coming in this world. That was the covenant which is described in Surah Al-A'raf. أَلَسْتُ بِرَبِّكُمْ قَالُوا بَلَا So number one covenant, number two covenant. Every Muslim, he makes a covenant. سَمِعْنَا وَاتَعْنَا We listen and we obey. In the same way the Jews made a covenant when Torah was given to them. So whosoever fulfills his covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was taqa and he was God fearing. He saved himself from breaking the divine law and breaking the divine injunctions. In Allah yuhibbul muttaqeen. So Allah loves such people who are God fearing, who are pious. In the ladina yashtaruna bi ahadillahi wa aymanahim sabanan qadila. Verily those no those people, verily those people who barter Allah's covenant and their oaths for a very small price. They are bartering away, they are selling the book of Allah, they are selling the fatwas, they are selling the deen, they are selling, you so, so to say, their own covenants and the, 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 the agreement that they made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what are they getting? Some worldly things? Are they very valuable? No, Samanan Kalila for very low price. Ulaika la khalaqa lahum fil akhirah. For them there will be no share in the hereafter. Wala yukallamuhum Allah. Allah will not speak to them, talk to them. Wala yanduru ilayhim yawm al qiyamah. And will not look towards them on the day of judgment. Wala yuzakkihim. And will not purify them. Wala hum azabul alim. And for them will be a very painful torment, very painful punishment. وَإِنَّ مِنْهُمْ لَفَرِيقًا يَلْفُونَ لَفَرِيقًا يَلْفُونَ أَلْسِنَتَهُمْ بِالْكِتَابِ And from among them there are a people, there are some group who used to twist their tongues with this book to distort its meanings. Just as we have seen in the examples سَمِعْنَا وَعَصَيْنَا أَطَعْنَا چَيْتُ عَصَيْنَا رَعْنَا چَيْتُ رَعِينَا So there are from among them some people who twist their tongues with the book لَتَحْسَبُوهُ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ So that you must suppose that this is the book of Allah that they are reading. What they are saying is in the book of Allah. وَمَا هُوَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ While that is not from the book. They are creating it by the twist of their tongues. وَيَقُولُونَ هُوَ مِنِ اللَّهِ And they are claiming that it is from Allah. وَمَا هُوَ مِنِ اللَّهِ And really it is not from Allah. وَيَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ And they are ascribing towards Allah whatever is wrong and, 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 and a lie and false. وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And they are doing it knowingly. مَا كَانَ لِبَشَرٍ وَيُوتِيَهُ اللَّهُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمَ وَالْنُبُوَةِ It is not possible. It, not, it doesn't become of a human being. مَا كَانَ لِبَشَرٍ وَيُوتِيَهُ اللَّهُ الْكِتَابَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him the book وَالْحُكْمَ And the wisdom وَالْنُبُوَةَ And the prophethood سُمَّ يَقُولَ لِلنَّاسِ and then he may say to the people, Kunu ibadal li, be bondsmen to me, serve me, worship me, min dun Allah, along with Allah or instead of Allah. Min dun means two, two things. Instead of Allah, don't, don't worship Allah, worship me. This is actually, this criticism is towards the Christians. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Hazrat Isa alayhi salam al kitab, he gave him al hukm, the wisdom. He gave him the prophethood. Now, how was it possible that he would have said, he could have said to the people, you should worship me. You should hold me as a God. You should accept me as a God with Allah or besides Allah or instead of Allah. The only thing that he could say was, you should become godly. You should become people of Allah. You should become the bondsman to Allah. You should become the worshippers of Allah. بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تُعَلِّمُونَ الْكِتَابِ On the basis of which, in accordance with how you have been reading the book and you have been teaching the book. The book that you have been teaching to people, that is Torah. 
that actually Torah contradicts every statement of yours. Torah says Allah is one. Torah is against shirk. So how can you expect Hazrat Jesus, Hazrat Masih that he might have asked the people that they should they to worship him? Which what you have been studying yourself. And it couldn't be possible for him that he could have ordered you that you accept the angels or the prophets as Rabb, as lords. Could he have ordered you, commanded you to kufr? After that, you would be Muslims. It was impossible. It's your own imagination. It's your own concoction. It's nothing to do with the reality. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم